Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Cute and Crafty, and I am back with four new Christmas decor pieces for you today. And as always, I am super excited to show you what I've made. Now, these decor pieces, well this one particularly, has quite a few pieces to it, but don't be intimidated by that. Anybody can do it, so let's go. I have this wood, blank wood kit from Target. These little wood pieces from Dollar Tree, Tumbling Tower Blocks from Dollar Tree, Stars from Walmart, Snowflakes from Joanne Fabrics, Masking Tape, Ruler. I have these wood slats from Dollar Tree, Hello Hobby in White, Waverly and Antique, Apple Barrel in Mountain Forest, and Americana in Santa Red. I have these four little cute Christmas stamps from Target. They were a dollar each, and I have four ink stamps from Target, a dollar each as well, in green, red, gold, and silver. So I'm starting out by taking my two wood slats from Dollar Tree and taping them together. I need them to stay together so that I can draw my triangles and get them cut out without them falling apart. I taped them together also because I needed a wider piece of wood. Dollar Tree does sell wider pieces of wood like this, so you don't have to tape them together, but I didn't have any, so... I am using what I have on hand. So I'm taking my ruler and just drawing my triangles out. We are going to make some cute little Christmas trees. And here they are. So now that I have my triangles all cut out, sand it down to make sure that I don't get any splinters. I'm going to get those glued together using wood glue, hot glue, and a staple for good measure. I want to make sure that they don't come apart. Now that I have those all put together, I'm going to start painting. I'm going to do green, red, white, and brown. Painting front, back, bottom, and sides. Now I'm just embellishing polka dots on the red, red polka dots on the white, white stripes on the green, and I'm going to do a dry brush on the brown to give it a nice snowy look, a distressed look as well. Use my masking tape to get nice crisp white lines on this green tree. You guys, I loved how these turned out. They're so cute. But is this my favorite? Nope. <laughs> it's not my favorite. If you want to know which one is, you're going to have to keep watching. Now that my trees are all painted and set aside, I'm going to start on these wood pieces. I'm going to use my Hello Hobby marker to fill in the word joy in red. I'll use my Hello Hobby marker in green to fill in the word Mary. And then on the wreath, I'll use both markers. On this ornament, I just painted it with some white chalk paint. And then I went in with a silver Sharpie and filled in the top of the ornament. Now I'm going to take my Don't Open Till Christmas Santa stamp, and we're going to get that on this ornament. Now I'm absolutely in love with this stamp. However, I'm not in love with this ink pad. I expected a bright, rich red, and I got more of a faded, muted pink. And I put a lot of ink on there, so I think I just need to buy a different, higher quality ink pad and try again. So now I'm going to adhere my stars and my words and my wreath and all that to my Christmas trees. I use my little mini Sharpies in gold, silver, and bronze to fill in my stars. Now I'm just adding my little snowflake buttons. Again, I picked these up from Joann's. I got these back in July 
when I was crafting for Christmas in July. And now I'm going to take my wood stems from Dollar Tree. I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue, a little bit of wood glue, and get those adhered to the little tree stump. At least that's what I'm calling it. That's what I'm using it for. And also I'm going to make sure that it stays on here using a tumbling tower block. And here is finished DIY number one. These are so adorable, you guys. I love them, and I hope you do too. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another cute and crafty DIY with D. I would love to have you here. And if you've been with me for a while, thank you so much for coming back. You guys are amazing, and I'm happy to have you here as well. Moving on to DIY number two, I'm using one of these plastic wood look plates from Hobby Lobby. It was $3.99 with 50% off from that. I have three packs of stencils. There's two in each pack. They were $2.99 with 50% off. I've got my ribbon, my Waverly white chalk paint. I've got some leftover, um, well, no, I don't have leftover ribbon scraps. I actually have ribbon and I'm going to be using a little bit of jute twine. So I took my stencil of choice. I like the word believe, so we're going to use that. And I taped it down with masking tape. And I'm going in with my little um, paint dauber or whatever this is called, this little sponge. And I'm just dabbing that paint on there and trying to hold it down as good as I can so I don't get bleed through. I did get a little bit, but it was an easy fix. Then I took the other stencil packet that was in with the Believe pack, and I chose an ornament from that. I like this peppermint stripe looking ornament, so I added that as well and added in my white stripes using the Dollar Tree paint marker. I also used that paint marker for any touch-up that I needed, and if I got white paint onto the actual um, plate, all I did was use my gator sander, and I lightly sanded it away. I'm guessing you could also use your Waverly Antique Wax and use that to touch up any paint as well, but it was easy just to sand it off. So here you see I'm making my bow. I have Christmas tree ribbon and some red and white peppermint looking ribbon, which is perfect for this, and my white burlap ribbon. I'm going to use a little bit of each to give me three loops on either side to make this bow. Then I'll go back and add my tails and I will pinch it all together, tie it off with some jute twine and hot glue it to the top of the plate. If you want this to be a door hanger, just add some jute twine on the back to make a hanger. But I am going to use mine just as um, a decor piece sitting in one of those plate stands that you get from Dollar Tree. Normally, I tie my bows onto my projects, but since this is a plastic plate and it's going to sit like on a table, it's not going to hang on the door. I'm not worried about the sun heating it up and the bow falling off, so I don't want to um, put a hole in this to tie it on. So hot glue is going to be fine. And here is the final reveal of DIY number two. And since I had a little bit of jute hanging down from where I tied my bow together, I felt like it needed a little extra something, something. So I just popped on two bells. I just tied them on and that finished this project off for me. This one is super cute, but still not my favorite of the four that I'll show you today. DIY number three, I have one of the Dollar Tree plungers, a little bit of MDF, 
And I use that to make my two little angel wings. They look like antlers, but they're angel wings. <laughs> and I have some wooden stars, some of this lace from Dollar Tree, one of the wreath medallions, some wood glue, some of the wood rings from Dollar Tree. I have these wood round, um, like little balls, I guess, beads from Hobby Lobby, my Waverly White chalk paint, some leftover floral stem, and some little evergreen greenery pieces that I'm currently breaking down. I'm going to take that floral stem and start hot gluing those little pine or evergreen pieces to the stem. I'm going to take my wood stars and glue one to either side and then give them a coat of the Waverly White chalk paint and I'm going to paint my little angel wings as well. I'm going to open up this, well, not really open it, just take that little um, wire piece off the back, get rid of all of my stickers, and give this a dry brush in the white. Just putting my stem down for placement, looking at it to make sure that's where I want it to go. Now, I took that um, Dollar Tree wood plunger handle. I cut off a five inch piece of that and then I slanted it at the top. This is going to be the body of my angel and this one is hands down by far my favorite of the four that I'm showing you today. So I just took my ruler and gave myself a nice straight line so I can hand letter the word hope. You guys if this is your first time here Please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on another cute and crafty DIY with D. I will be so happy to have you here. After I write it in pencil, I go back and I write it in Sharpie. And there's the word hope cleaning up my line, just erasing it off of there. And at first I thought I'd take my wood glue and just go ahead and take the bead and glue it to the top, but no, I thought about it and said, that's not going to hold. So I put a little hole in the top of my wood dowel, and then I added a little piece of skewer stick with some wood glue into the hole of the bead, and then I put that with some hot glue into the hole of the wood dowel. And that is going to help it stay on there a lot more securely. Then I took my whittling tool and I carefully cut some grooves into the back of the angel because I wanted the wings to have somewhere to sit. I didn't want to just hot glue them on the surface. I wanted them to sit down into the back of the angel. So I just made a little groove for them to sit into, added some hot glue and glued them down. A little tip, please place your halo before you place your wings because you'll see that when I get ready to put my halo on, it almost doesn't fit. It's a tight fit because the wings were a little too high. So either place your halo first before you put your wings on or put your wings down a little bit, lower them just a little bit so you don't run into the problem that I ran into. So because there's a hole in this little um, wood round I put some hot glue on the bottom to fill that hole in, and then once that dried, I put hot glue actually inside the hole to place my stem. I used some wood glue and some hot glue to secure my angel to the wood round, and now I'm taking that little wire piece that came with the wood round. Um, it's not even really wood. I think it's like MDF, but anyway... I took the wire and I'm using it for my angel's arms and hands to hold the tree or the little stem. And I'm just going to wrap it around the angel, wrap it around the stem and twist it a couple times in the back and cut off the excess. And now I'm going to take my wood ring and this really pretty lacy ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm going to wrap that around the wood ring because that's going to give 
the hot glue something to stick to when I get ready to put it on the um, angel's head. At least that was, that was my thinking when I did it. I wanted that texture and I wanted it to um, be able to stick well. But it was so tight to place between the wings that I didn't even have to glue it. It just sat there on its own. I added some little eyes to make my angel look like he's looking up at the star. And I love that. This is definitely my favorite. As long as I'm looking up, I always have hope. And here it is, you guys, DIY number three, my absolute favorite. It just stole my heart. I love this one so much. The message on this one for me is very clear. Just keep looking up. There's always hope if you're looking up. I just love it. And I hope you guys do too. If you do, Please give this video a thumbs up. It helps YouTube push me out a little bit more so others can see me and it helps my channel grow. Moving on to DIY number four and the final one for this video. I have some scrap ribbon, one of my snowflakes. I have Waverly White Antique Wax and the Apple Barrel Mountain Forest. And I have one of these tag signs, thick chunky tag signs that I got for $2 at a store called Gabe. So I'm just removing the stickers off the back and I took my electric sander and I sanded off all of that blue paint. And I will also be using the Target ink pad and stamp on this one as well. So I'm going in with my white chalk paint and I'm giving it a rough coat just a, a dry brushing of the white paint just to even it out a little bit more and distress it a little bit more because I can't help it. I love it. This one is quick and easy, you guys. I'm going to take that apple barrel forest green or mountain green. I think it's not even forest green. I think it's mountain forest. I'm going to take that green paint and I am going to just do a really quick wispy Christmas tree or just a, a pine tree actually and you just start out doing little wisp and as you go down they gradually get longer it's really easy and then I'm going to go in with my antique wax and do the actual body of the tree the tree stump or the stem or I don't know whatever you want to call it, the branch of the tree. And then I will go back and forth with the green and the brown. And I'm taking my little um, paint sponge and I'm adding in some white to give it a nice snowy effect. Give it a little more depth and dimension. Just add snowflakes all around. Going back in with the green and filling in a little bit more. Just back and forth until it looks good to me. Now I'm going to use my stamp and see how this one turns out. I like it better than the um, red stamp, but I do think I just need better ink stamps. I think it would show up better with a better ink stamp. So I'm going to go to Joanne's and see what I can find. But for now, this is going to do. I do love this one. I'm taking my little scrap pieces of ribbon and I'm making a bow, but not really tying it. I'm just going to gather it and pinch it in the middle and tie it off with a piece of jute. And it gives it the look of a bow without actually having to tie a bow. I'm going to get this glued to the top and this one's going to be done. I added my snowflake to the top of the tree, and I love this one. Super cute. It could stand on a tiered tray, or it could stand alone. I 
And here it is. DIY number four. Okay, you guys, here's the final reveal of everything I've made for you today. And I had such a wonderful time. I enjoyed making each and every one of these DIYs, and I hope that you'll recreate them. If you do, please don't hesitate to go over to my free Facebook group, D's Cute and Crafty DIY Diva, so that you can share your DIYs over there. We can see what you're working on. I would love to have you. Ask to become a member, and it men will let you in. And I'll see you over there. Oh, this angel just steals my heart. I love it. Hands down my favorite. I hope you guys recreate this one. I'm going to have to do some more. I'm going to do some bigger ones, some smaller ones. Add some more words to it. Peace, love, joy. I'm going to make a whole angel family. I just have to. <laughs> You guys, crafting like this just gets me in the Christmas spirit. I know it's super early, but uh, I am so ready. I'm ready to decorate my house and everything. I just I want to take all the fall stuff down, put all the Christmas stuff up. Thank you again for being here. You guys, as always, I truly enjoy your company. Talk to me in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't. Give it a thumbs up. Help my channel grow. Love you so much. Be blessed. Stay safe and craft something beautiful today, you guys. I will see you in my next one. Bye.